Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018.5 Sonic 169 VDB. This is a great little camper, nice small footprint, comes in at uh, just under 3,300 pounds, and you have a double over double bunk in here. You can sleep up to six people in this camper, which is great. Let's start off right up here in the front. So you have a big U-shaped dinette. This will be uh, probably the primary bed, if you will. And it's quite simple to make up. All you have to do is remove the two table legs right here from the flanges in the floor, as well as the flanges in the table. The table will then sit down along the rails here, take the back cushions, fill it in, and that, again, will create your main sleeping space. Uh, because this is the 2018.5 or the kind of the fall model of the 2018, they have made a lot of changes in here as far as colors. They've gone with the light, uh, lighter countertops, beautiful light countertops on here. Of course, the table matches that as well. A little bit darker wood. They have the nice light floor here as well. So you have a lot of contrast throughout, which I really like. And then when we get over to some of the cabinet doors, they've gone to a frosted glass, which we'll see uh, in just a moment. But back to the U-shaped dinette, nice big dinette, which I like in a small camper because, again, you have double over double bunks. Chances are you will have friends with you. You'll have family. You'll have people that will be staying the night, and you'll want to have some entertainment, whether you're sitting around playing a game together or just having a meal together, eating dinner, breakfast together, something like that. It is nice to be able to have everyone sit in one place. You'll also see that you have some outlets up here, four electrical outlets. So plenty of outlets to plug in. Uh, you know, your uh, cell phones or tablets, or if you have a CPAP machine, you can plug those in there as well. Now, one of the things you will notice right back here, the cushions, they, they have to make the cushions really long so that when you stick them onto the table, there's not any gaps when you're sleeping. So the only issue I found is when you put these together, it bows out like that. So myself personally, what I'd probably do is just go to the store, buy some Velcro, put it right here on the back of the cushions and then on the wall there. So that way when these are here, they stay in place. Don't uh, bow forward like that on you, but that's a simple fix. And again, uh, everything else about the U-Dinette here I love. Uh, storage, if we can take a look at the storage, open this guy up. You do have storage underneath this side. You can see that there. And then also right back here, take a look at this. This is pretty, uh, pretty neat. You just have these slider doors right here. You can slide that open on both sides so you have easy access storage there as well. If we take a look up top, you have some more up here. It has the net, so it is nice and simple to get into. I think they did a good job rather than trying to put really skinny doors there. And then you have windows on both sides. Of course, your entry door right over here. Uh, it is nice and easy for the screen. You see that you have a handle both inside and outside, so that way you don't have to constantly slide this little plastic piece open uh, to be able to enter or exit the RV here. Right across the way is the entertainment center. So in this floor plan, if you want to watch TV, there have to be in the dinette or you know at night. Uh, you know this one it'll have a TV here. There is hookup for one in the back as well, which I'll show you in a minute. Right up top is the multimedia center here. So this unit is your radio, CD, and DVD player. It's already pre-wired, so if you want to watch a DVD, just plug this into your TV. You are good to go. Uh, this unit does control the speakers inside as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You see your controls right up here for your slide as well as the power awning. We'll see that power awning when we go outside in a little bit. Right up top here, you have a dual USB port. The idea here is that this is where you will charge your cell phone, so that way it's not cluttering up your countertops. You just plug them in right here, and they have a nice little shelf to set them down at. Of course, there is a backer here for your TV. And then underneath, you see some good storage here as well. The other thing I like is right down at the bottom, you'll see you have a cutout there. My opinion, that's a perfect place to put a couple pair of shoes, maybe some flip-flops. You can just kick them off and toss them right in there. You'll also notice there's a battery disconnect there as well. And that, again, that is super convenient. Rather than having to constantly go out and undo the battery box to get at your battery, you can just flip that switch and kill all power to this RV. So we make our way uh, a little bit further back here. Take a quick look at the ceiling. You will see you have your AC unit right up here. So it is a roof mounted AC rather than a side mount, which is really nice. And again, I mentioned how light this unit is. You know, it is under that 3,300 pound mark. So you can tow it with uh, in a lot of your midsize SUVs and you get a slide out in here, which really helps open the space up, gives you a nice big kitchen. You'll see you have a huge sink here for being a single bowl. And the reason I say it's huge is because it's very deep. So that way, if you do have some larger pots and pans, you are able to fit them in there. And you also have the high rise faucet. Two burner cooktop here over to the side. Again, the nice light countertops. 
Then you have the uh, decorative backsplash right in the back here, as well as an electrical outlet behind the faucet. And I think this is a great spot for it because naturally if I'm going to have a coffee maker in here or a toaster, that's where I'd want to put it and you have that fixed outlet right there. LED lights here of course, you have LED lights throughout the entire RV which are great, especially if you do boondocking, uh, you know where you don't have shore power because they not only don't put out near the heat but they use a fraction of the power. Right up top here again as I mentioned they've kind of gone to this uh, like completely frosted glass, it, it's really a neat look rather than having just your uh, just the wood on there I think again it helps break things up a little bit right up top here is your sink top cover you know so if you're wondering Ian I just don't have any prep space don't worry you do have the sink top cover you can throw that right on there like so so that way you do have a place to prep your food and then when you're done you know you can just toss it right back up in there a nice convenient uh, spot to put it but otherwise that does make some nice extra pantry sp uh, space up top there as well if we take a look down below you see two full extension ball bearing drawers. Uh, in my opinion, pretty much every kitchen in an RV should have at least two drawers. That way you have one here for your silverware and then another one for your larger utensils like your spatulas, your big knives, things like that. And that uh, does check those boxes. Right underneath here you have some extra storage. Probably not enough for a trash can, but you do have enough to put your uh, cleaning supplies right down below there. And then rounding out the kitchen, right over here, rather than having an oven, you know, they, because it's a smaller coach, they gave you the extra storage. So instead, they have the two-in-one with the convection microwave oven here. Uh, personally, I like convection ovens. They cook nice and fast. They generally cook quicker than your oven will, and they're easy to clean. And again, because it is a space savings, it allows more storage in your RV. Right underneath that is your Nor Cold Fridge Freezer Combo. You can take a look right in here. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. If you take a look across the way here, we'll open this up. This is your bathroom right here. Uh, you know, you have, again, a pretty spacious bathroom for being a small RV. I know I say that and you're looking at me like, Ian, it's really cramped. Yeah, but they fit a lot in here. You'll see right down here you have your foot flush lever toilet. And take a look at the size of that countertop next to it. You have huge countertop there, which is awesome. You have the big cutout underneath which kind of is twofold. One, it gives you some extra room if you're like myself and you're wide in the shoulders. I'll kind of show you here as I sneak in. So normally if the countertop is right here, it's super tight. So what they did is they cut this out so that way you can sit here comfortably. You can see I have plenty of leg room. And so that's why I say why it's a, a good size bathroom for a small RV. I don't feel cramped in here at all. Plus you have this extra space right down here where you can put a trash can, which is cool. And because you have still this big countertop space, electrical outlet right here, you can naturally put your curling iron here, set your hair dryer down, whatever else you need, and you have access to that plug there. Right underneath, you do have a little extra storage. And then up top here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. Obviously, you have storage in there as well. Take a quick look up at the ceiling. You'll see your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape, LED lights. And then over above the shower, you have a big skylight there, which not only lets in natural light, but also gives you some additional headroom. The shower itself, you see you have uh, some shelves in there. You have the hand wand. It is a tub, which I honestly like a tub when you have a bunk model, because if you have smaller kids and you still want to be able to give them a bath, you can still do that in this RV. So we step out of the bathroom here. We'll take a quick look right outside before we go in the back. Open this up. A little bit of extra storage here. Now again, you do have some versatility. Uh, you know, you may want to use this as a pantry if you have a lot of food. Myself, personally, I'd probably use this as a little linen closet, right? Put my towels and stuff in there. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a couple extra things for like the kids' clothes, but uh, I think that would make a nice linen closet there. And again, you do have a little bit of storage there underneath, so if you want to put the kids' flip-flops or something there, you can do that as well. We come to the back. This is a bunk model, so you have the double over double bunks here. Uh, nice large bunks, you know, they're 74 inches long, so even adults can easily sleep here. The cool thing about that, right, is let's say you don't want to make up a dinette constantly. That's your big, you know, the, their big problem with this floor plan. Oh, I don't want to make up a dinette at night. Well, if you're not sleeping six people, it's not a big deal. You can take this bunk right here, have the kids sleep up top. You know, it is big enough. You can have two adults sleep on here, which is pretty nice. Uh, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so they are soft mattresses as well. The, the top bunk here does have a dual USB port, so the reason that's nice is if it's raining and the kids kind of want their own space, right? You know, again, it's, it is a smaller footprint. Maybe you want to be up front, have the kids back here. They can play on their electronics in this top bunk. Everyone is happy. No one's pulling their hair out. Right underneath here, uh, the bottom bunk, 
You do have an LED light. You have a big door right back here. We'll see this when we go outside. This really gives you a ton of storage. You can see you have a split right here in the bunk because this does lift up. That way when you're traveling, you have all this extra storage there. Then you do have some access right underneath the other part of it with the netting right here. Over across the way, you'll see up top, you have TV connections. So as I mentioned, if you do want a TV in the back, that's where it would hook up at. Nice little shelf up top there. Some storage right underneath. Uh, myself, personally, I'd probably put a tension rod in here so you can hang clothes. Uh, but, you know, I hang most of my clothes at home, so maybe that's just my personal preference. But uh, that's, that's what I would do in there. And then right underneath is your furnace. So that way, you know, you don't need a ducted uh, furnace in a camper this small. That's really all you need is that direct vent. Kids will stay nice and toasty. If you're sleeping back here, you will too. And again, it'll certainly make its way to the front as well. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Sonic 169 VDB. Starting right up front here, this unit does come equipped with a power tongue jack. This makes it a breeze to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Simply flip a switch to raise and lower the tongue. You'll also see that you have a switch here for a light right up front for some extra visibility in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Right behind that is where your propane tank will go. It does come with one 20 pound propane tank and a cover. However, when the manufacturer ships it, it is not installed. We install it here at the dealership and that's why you currently do not have one there. Right behind that are your rails for your battery. And then coming up the front is black diamond plating, which helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Right above that here, you have the fiberglass piece. One of the things I love about the Sonic Light construction is this is one piece fiberglass from the front of the RV all the way up and over the roof and down the back. Uh, that provides a big, big advantage, and that is the fact that it's less chance for any kind of water penetration. So now is it nice and aerody aerodynamic, but by having less seams going across, that's a lot less holes that are in the roof, less chance for that water to get in. And as we all know, the number one place that water comes in is on the roof line. Also, because of the natural curvature of the roof, your water wants to run to the front and back. So that helps keep your campsite here a little bit drier. And again, the water is going where you don't have the seams going all the way across. So come around to this side here, one of the changes they made on the 2018.5 is that they have gone to aluminum steps. The aluminum steps are really nice because they don't rust out on you, so they stay looking nice for the life of the RV here. You also have the grip strips on there in case it rains or if it's early in the morning and you have dew, you make sure you have good traction, you're not going to slip and fall, especially in conjunction with the grab handle here. It does give you that excellent control when entering or exiting the RV. You notice you have a power awning here. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. It covers pretty much the entire portion of the home here. You also have an LED light strip uh, so you have light at night. Just flip a switch and you're good to go. That way you don't have to hang up your Christmas lights. You see you have two outside speakers here in case you want to listen to some music. If watching TV outside is more your speed, not a problem. You do have a cable outlet right here as well as an electrical outlet. So that way you can hook it up and you'll be underneath your awning. As you'll notice, you don't have any vents here either. So you have excellent camp space where you can set up your chairs and be comfortable. If you take a look at the wheel there, you'll see it is aluminum alloy wheels on this RV. So that way you don't have to worry about any rust. Plus they look great and you have nitrogen filled tires which helps hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. Coming around to the back here, this is where the majority of your storage on the outside is. You see you have a covered hinge as well as a magnet so it just stays right up there, nothing's going to bust off. Now this is the storage underneath the bed here. Uh, this is the side storage, I'll show you the rear door as well if you want to uh, access it that way, but it is nice that you have a couple different access points and it's also slam latch. We come around to the back side here, take a look at how massive this door is. You want to talk about excellent storage space, this is it. You open the door up right here, this bunk folds up, it's strut assisted so it's super easy to lift up as well as drop back down. And you can store some huge items back here. You know, you can put bicycles back here if you want, some grills, uh, you know, extra wood. You can see that currently there's a spare tire back here. Now there is a mount for this spare tire as well. It does mount on the bumper. It has a cover here too. But again, because this unit just came in, we haven't uh, gotten to install that quite yet. Right over to this side, you have solar prep. 
you know, if you want to take this out where you don't have shore power, doing some boondocking, do some adventuring and exploring, this can be a big benefit. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. Right next to that, you also see you have your cable and satellite inlets. And then as we make our way around the corner, you will see you have a 30 amp detachable uh, power cord right there. And then you also have a black tank flush. That way you don't have to drag a hose inside and stick it down your toilet. You simply hook it up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018.5 Sonic Light 169 VDB. For price and availability, just click on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.